Will somebody please cue that boy? You want some pepperoni? Summerai Pizza Cat. Right on! They're stepping up crime, and you know that ain't baloney. They're Speedy Serviche, he's the leader of the bunch. That's right! A heck of a fighter, uh, makes a heck of a lunch. Uh, and little polyester, who's never afraid of going into battle with the bad guys in vain. Here's Guido Anchovy, a wild romantic rover. This cat gets down, down with a mob hangover. Here come the Pizza Cats. They're so bad, they've got more fur. Who's lower than low? It's a rotten yeah, shame. Yeah, yeah. He lives in little Tokyo. We've got a nasty bad bird and some nasty ninja crows. As soon as someone finds a script, we might begin the show. Sit right back, kick up your feet, and turn the sound up high. And if you want the full effect, go eat a pizza pie. <laughs> I haven't been this touch since the Wicked Witch melted. <laughs> Veronique! Yeah. 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 Beautiful! Listen, everybody, I've got a terrific idea! I'm going to produce a movie of my very own! You can't be serious! A royal princess making movies? It's undignified! Undignified? What about Grace Kelly? What about Prince and Purple Rain? Would you think it's undignified of me if I banished you to Prisoner Island? Well, since you put it that way... Farad! And so the sweet-tempered and much-loved little princess gets her way, as usual, and a massive movie set goes up in the center of Little Tokyo. I finished the script. It's about the life and loves of a beautiful red-haired young princess whom everybody just adores. Have we got a movie? Of course, I'll play the princess. Now, you, Big Al, mm -hmm. you play an important figure in the princess's young life. Oh! Her close personal friend, Buddha. Buddha? You've got the right build for it. Now, Daddy, your part doesn't have any dialogue, but it's very important. The princess's favorite footstool. Think you can handle it? You'd better hurry if you want to be in the princess's movie. You're already late for the auditions. Don't worry. Who could resist such a pretty face as this? <gasps> Which outfit do you think I should wear? How about this, a lady in waiting? A geisha? Schoolgirl? Or something sexy? I don't think sex is what they're looking for. Of course, why didn't I think of that? I'll go dressed as a guy. What a brilliant idea. Oh, Jerry, what would I do without you? Ready for my close-up, Mr. DeMille? Hmm? Everybody's gone. I'm too late. But I, I didn't even get a chance to do my big dance number. <laughs> I've cast all the important parts except for the male lead. The tall, mysterious stranger. Who am I going to find to play that? Oh, wait a second, I know. I'll just post notices all over the city. Surely among my loyal subjects, there's one man capable of playing the... Tall, mysterious stranger. Auditions tomorrow. Oh, Speedy, wouldn't it be exciting to be in a movie? This mysterious stranger, I suppose he's the guy who comes and sweeps the princess off her feet, huh? You'd be perfect. Huh, who <gasps> couldn't sweep a bug off its feet with a broom, Lucille? So you just save your breath, Speedy, because I was born to play that role. You were? <laughs> You're gonna play that role? Why, you couldn't act your way out of a paper bag! Oh, yeah? You seem to be forgetting that I was playing the title role in Cat in the Hot Tin Roof while you were still pulling curtains and cleaning dressing rooms in summer stock. Oh, yeah! Oh, whoa! Whoa! You know, if you get this part, you can become a big star! Yeah, I guess I could. You have so many fans, you forget all about me. Huh? Never, not even if I get my own show like Al for Mr. Ed. I'll always remember the little people who made it possible, like you, Lucille. Gee, thanks. Rats! 
Like I said, I'll remember the little people, even the really little people. Like you, Shorty. Yeah, that's swell, but you're forgetting one little thing, Hambone. There's no way you're gonna get that part, cause I'm gonna get that part. You and whose army? Geriatric. Geriatric, our scene's beginning. Sorry, I'm late. I thought we came after the commercial. I've got to get that part in the princess's movie. It's obvious that becoming a movie star is the logical first step toward gaining absolute political power. It is. Yes, of course. Just look at Ronald Reagan and Clint Eastwood. He was mayor of Carmel. Then there's that bartender from the love boat. He was senator from somewhere. I don't think he was the bartender. He was one of the other guys. And besides, he was a congressman, not a senator. Oh, details, details. Who cares what he was? When you're as big a love boat fan as I am, these things are important. Listen, could we possibly forget about love boat for one minute? You're messing my point, Jerry. I'm not just out for myself here. I can see to it that you get a big juicy part in that movie as well. Me, master? Yes, you and the two of us will become such huge movie stars that we'll easily be able to take over the world. Well, it's an interesting idea, but how do you plan to pass that audition tomorrow? Ah, I've got Bad Bird cooking up something. <laughs> if I have to keep cooking up things... <coughs> I wish they'd put the kitchen indoors. The next morning finds the entire male population lined up to audition. Not since the glory days of gladiator movies has there been such a mob of muscular masculinity. The big cheese, even in disguise, doesn't quite fit in. The auditioners must first step through a pair of midget detectors. After all, the part being cast is a tall, mysterious stranger. Anyone under six feet is immediately disqualified. It's downright prejudice. The fools, don't they know that a man's size is measured by his heart, not his height? It's profound. Okay, next. Uh, quick, get under his feet. Go on, three. Huh? Lighten up, stop wobbling around, will you? <laughs> okay, next. For those of you out there who may be a little slow and haven't figured it out yet, let's reveal their ingenious scheme. Go on! Hey! Hi, how you doing? Not so long, sucker! What a crowd! This is great publicity for my movie! Hey, how did those two shrimps get in? Huh? Uh, they're taller than they look, Lady Vi. I wouldn't have expected the Big Cheese to be tall enough either. Oh, I just love his disguise. If I hadn't recognized him, I never would have recognized him. I don't like the looks of this. I wonder what's going to happen. Let me give you a rough idea. First of all, our contestants will enjoy an all-expense-paid flight to the starting line. Then they'll race through a series of hazards and obstacles ending at the finish line, which is a logical place to finish. The winner will receive a part in the movie, a set of Lady Samsonite luggage in a home version of our game. Thank you, Professor. And now back to our story. The plane carrying the contestants lifts off, but as it flies over the stadium on its way to the starting line, it's carrying an unticketed passenger. With a miracle of animation, the minutes pass like seconds, and we soon find the contestants gathered at the starting line. Ready? Go! Hi, Bad Bird. It's nice having friends to cheer you on. <laughs> they reach the first obstacle! One, two, one! Oh. Hey, what's the idea? Uh, uh, Thanks! Uh, <laughs> Couldn't have done it without you, buddy! <laughs> Where did everybody go? Oh, doesn't look so bad. Piece of cake. One, two, three. Just like O.J. Simpson in the Rent-A-Car commercial. Hmm? Ah! Bad bird! Oh. Thank you. Oh, how can I let him walk all over me like that? Please be patient. We're understaffed today. Would you like to see a menu? Sure, we have light pizza. Give me one and step on it. I'll jump on it if you're not nice. 
Oh, I'd like it my paws on Speedy and Guido, ditching us on the busiest day of the week! Hey, hurry it up, I'm starving here! No, can't take it! I guess that pizza wasn't as light as I thought it was. Meanwhile, Speedy and Guido make like a couple of grunts in an army recruiting field, boldly negotiating the many hazards, while the big cheese as rotten as last week's Limburger hangs in. With a little help from his felonious feathered friends. Looks like the wimps are starting to fall by the wayside. Get me in ropes, a job you got. Whoa. It looks easy, but it's not. You never know that. Jump rope, huh? Funny, I don't remember that being part of the obstacle course. That's because we're in disguise. Hey, this new thing should have think they could have done this instead of PE. One, two, three, four. Oh, hey, knock it off! We're at the low impact aerobics! <laughs> the poor guys. All right, you can put them out of their misery. With pleasure. Okay, Bongo, come on out! Bongo! Simply shocking. You shouldn't have any problem winning the race now, boss. <sighs> the things I have to do to get a part in a movie. Hey, wait a second. The Big Cheese and Bad Bird, they're in on this? Yeah, we should have known. <laughs> <laughs> What was that? I don't know, but I don't like his manners at all. Huh? Well, color me puzzled. Me too. Speedy and Guido, finally! Well, I suppose this means you lost? That rancid rodent's trying to rig the whole rotten rat race, but we're not like yet. Francine, get ready for emergency blast off. We're going back. That's the spirit. Citizens of Little Tokyo, please cover your ears and hang onto your hat. It's that time of the show when I launch the three cats. Pardon our noise if it makes you queasy, but no one said fighting crime would be easy. Thank you. Kaboom! Kapay! Kapowee! The Samurai Pizza Cats are on the move again! There they go! It's not fair. How come our cat can't fly like that? Because he just can't. How many times must you throw him out the window before you learn? Well, golly, Mom. Maybe you would let me open the window. Meanwhile, back on the obstacle course, the Big Cheese races unopposed towards the finish line. Will our heroes be in time to stop him? Does a bear belch in the woods? Does Joni love Chachi? I'm going to be a star with my name in lights. I'll have salads named after me. Not so fast, Chitter Brim. Huh? <gasps> No, wait, where's my stunt double? Ah! A flop in your first starring role. All right, who's the wise guy? Show yourself! Not that again. We show up every episode, and every episode you act like you're surprised to see us. Yeah, a guy could get his feelings hurt, but if you need an introduction, you'll find this cat wherever danger's at. Guido and Jovi. Yes, polyester am I, and I'm here to kiss evil. Goodbye! Speedy's my name and fighting's my job. Okay, I'm no poet. Pizza Cats! <laughs> Looks like we were a little short on our landing. We're down here and he's up there. <laughs> come and get me, you rinky dink rat catchers. Oh, yeah? Come down here and say that, you flea bitten feather duster. Sticks and stones may break your bones, but big rocks will do even more damage. Throw a big rock on him. There you go. Bongo! and they dropped it. Give him another chance, Bongo. <laughs> okay, that takes care of them. Lunch break, everybody. Oh, yippee! Lunch break, lunch break, lunch break! Oh, my gosh, it's time to call for the cavalry. Looks like those wussies need help again. General Cat in the first flying. Ready! Yes, General Captain. Whenever the animators paint our heroes into a corner, they send for this ferocious furball. Bongo! Okay, let's go there! That's enough! I'll do! Oh, look, the General! General, how a 
about whittling that mountain down to size. Stand back, everybody! We sure appreciate it, General, but I hope you don't expect a raise in pay. Speaking of a raise, how about one? Later! I'm glad the earth stopped shaking. I was getting indigestion. <clears throat> oh, what the? Oh, I can't stop now. I've got a movie to make. The cameras are ready to roll. My public is expecting me. Nothing like a meal of fried field mouse in the middle of the day to make a crow feel alive. Hmm? Oh, forgot to say grace. You? How did you get up here? I thought I'd seen the last of you. <laughs> What's so funny, you idiot? Evil doers always think they've seen the last of us. But we show up here, we show up there, we show up everywhere. You can't get rid of us. We're like a bad penny or a trio of obnoxious street performers. Pizza cats! Good grief, didn't we go through all that once? Kill them before they do it again! <laughs> Sorry, boss, we missed! In fact, you missed them by at least a mile as the crow flies. Bongo, time to rock and roll! <laughs> Bongo! It's clear that meaningful, rational dialogue will never work with a bully like you. There's only one way you Never get the point. He's about to unsheathe his self-sharpening magical ginger sword. It slices, it dices, it minces, it sachets. It can do almost anything but win a land war in Asia. Speedy and his ginzu, together they're the cat's meow. It's bedtime for Bongo! <laughs> <sighs> I'm here, I'm ready for the big scene. Bongo! I found my light. Yeah! Now, come on, time to do our pose, guys! <laughs> Say cheese! <laughs> I came in first, but that means I won, doesn't it? That means I won. That's right. You won the starring role. I won. I won. I won. Yahoo! I'm going to be a movie star. Let's see. If the weather holds, we can start shooting your big scene in the morning. You're no match for me, Volcano Brett. <laughs> The Big Cheese learns that showbiz ain't everything it's cracked up to be, but at least one person's more than happy with his role. I want out. I didn't think the tall, mysterious stranger was going to be the poor man's Godzilla. Ah! <laughs> Not so hard. Who got you that part? You did, and I appreciate it, though. Okay, you two really go for it. Make me believe it. More action, harder, hit him harder, really pound him. Okay, go for his head. There you go. Much better, much better. Oh, who said anything about heat sinking missiles? A kind of an explosion was that? I want it bigger, bigger! I feel a migraine coming on! There! Now that's an explosion! Several months later, the adventures of the Princess Pilot opens to glowing reviews. Can I have your autograph, Chief? Sure, but it'll cost you a buck. Hmm. And so, thanks to the tireless efforts of the Samurai Pizza Cats, moviegoers around the world can thrill to yet another pointless display of senseless violence and meaningless destruction. Gee, I can get all that stuff at home. Why would I want to pay seven bucks for it? Really? Ladies and gentlemen, the Samurai Pizza Cat Fan Club Oath! The Pizza Cats are Samurai. And I'd like to note... Their antics take your breath away. Like fur balls in your throat. We kittens are a special breed. We never call a retreat. Whenever Big Cheese knocks us down, we land upon our feet. 
So hail to thee, O oh Pizza Cat. Please ring your little bell. Although you may be pen and ink, we know you'll fight like Pizza Cat! Do you like the show? It's the best that we could do. Come on, right, pick the cat. If you could do better, then we'd leave it up to you. Just a reminder, you might like to know the cats will be back for another big show. <laughs>